Hello. To whom do I have the honor of speaking? To Sade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. Governor Burren told me to pay you a visit. Oh. It is you who arrested Dr. Asili and must help me prepare the trial. Exactly. Excellent. We will have lots to do if we want the doctor to pay for his crimes. The accused has a lot of support. Any evidence and testimonies you can gather will be useful. We'll have no problem gathering witnesses. His laboratory cells were full of them. We will call them to the witness box, of course. But be aware that if the victims are natives, their words will unfortunately not carry much weight here. There were also some noughts. Perhaps I can also convince some of the doctor's colleagues to talk. Their testimony will be crucial. The word of other scholars is likely to be the only thing that condemns him. That plus any material evidence you can gather. I picked up a strange powder in the laboratory. A substance that I've not been able to identify. You should show it to an alchemist. We need to know what it is to be able to use it. These documents describe Dr. Asili's work, as well as the horrible experiments he was performing. Perfect. I will read them in detail. We will no doubt find something to support my prosecution. I have found a letter proving that Dr. Asili voluntarily transmitted the Malachor to my cousin, Constantin Dorsey. I would like to add that I too was a victim of this poisoning. Did the accused try to take the life of the governor of New Serene? This is an extremely serious crime. Indeed. He saw my cousin and me as the ideal control group to prove his theories. And no humanitarian or diplomatic consideration could put a stop to his ambition. This letter alone is crucial proof. I will put it on our file. Do we have any chance of winning? Yes, I am rather confident. You have provided overwhelming evidence. But if we had witnesses, we would have an even bigger chance of winning. I will return to you soon. The Norts should be at the port, and the islanders had to take refuge in Vig Shardi. As for the scientists, they said they would go back to the governor's laboratory. I should give this powder to someone who can tell me what it is. should be at the port, and the islanders had to take refuge in Vig Shardir. As for the scientists, they said they would go back to the governor's laboratory. I should give this powder to someone who can tell me what it is.
my blade. Then let's go! Is everything all right? Once again, thanks to you. These people wanted to kill me. They certainly wanted to prevent you from testifying at the doctor's trial. The doctor will be judged. I suppose you'd like me to testify about how we suffered. Indeed. If you do not fear another attempt on your life by these men. Don't worry. I won't put up with intimidation. From now on, my people will watch over me until I can testify. And I intend to witness the execution of our torturer. You can count on me. Thank you. Your word will be crucial during the trial. Hello. I see that you are back to work. Indeed. We were not bothered thanks to you. And here I can make myself useful. But I don't think you're here to ask about me. What can I do for you? What is your purpose here? I help Dr. Anur to understand the research of my former master. He's the one who became his successor. I do hope that he doesn't use the same methods. Of course not. What about your other colleagues? What's become of them? They felt guilty. They stopped their experiments and returned to Al Saad. What do the other scholars think of Dr. Asili, now that his actions have been revealed for all to see? Most still admire him greatly. He is, was the greatest amongst us, you know? They didn't witness what was happening in the lab, and they have little interest in the natives. For them, the main problem is political, given that the war against the rebels cost us dearly. Until they understand the horrors that happened there, they will not have any moral issues. I discovered this strange powder in one of the laboratory's chests. Do you know what it is? I did see the doctor using it once or twice, but I don't know what it is. But I can study it for you if you want. I have the tools that will allow me to do so here. So, what is it? It is a quintessence of black blood. Probably created using the blood of numerous patients. The doctor managed to harness the very concept of the malachor in this powder. A single pinch ingested by someone would be enough for them to be afflicted by the disease. With the quantities that you brought me, hundreds of people could be contaminated. <sighs> it's terrifying. I cannot believe a silly would do such a thing. Here, these are my notes. I wrote down all the details of my experiments, as well as my conclusions. Thank you. I will relay them to the prosecutor. Are you prepared to testify against Dr. Asili? Yes. I kept silent for far too long about what was going on in that lab. I know what we did was wrong, and I do not want it to happen again. Thank you. Your story could change the outcome of this trial. I must leave you. What she saw working alongside Asili obviously upset her. She will make an excellent witness.
Doctor... Doctor Honor. What do you want? What do you think of Dr. Asili now that you've learned how he conducted his research? Well, obviously the few excesses he has conceded himself are unfortunate. But he remains the greatest scientist that the Alliance has ever known. His work has had a profound effect on science. It seems quite unfair to me to reduce his life's work just to what he has done lately. If I understand correctly, you will be one of his defenders. Naturally. I don't deny that he made a terrible mistake, but he meant well. And he was probably acting on behalf of our helplessness to combat the Malachor. Thank you. I must leave you. Doctor... Doctor Honor. What is your role and what is your research topic? I'm in charge of the Governor's laboratories. My main research concerns the Malachor, of course. Above all, we searched for a way to reduce the suffering of the sick. What were you looking for? Now that we have access to my colleague Asili's work, it gives us hope of finding a cure. So the crimes he committed while conducting his work do not concern you? He will be judged for that. But it would be a shame for him to have done all this for nothing. Would you agree to speak at the trial? Your influence could be crucial. Oh, but I already intended to give a statement. His lawyer came to find me. So you were ready to defend a man who used torture and murder to advance his research? Indeed. Because I think the entire work of a scientist should not be judged on a single mistake. It is obvious that he should not have used such methods, but a silly has never been very political. I doubt he understood the implications of his actions. So you're saying the only problem in this case is political? Essentially, yes. The war he nearly caused could have been expensive for our governor and the city, but let's not fool ourselves. No tears will be shed over the fate of a few of those bloodthirsty savages. Thank you. I must leave you. Doctor... I took a look at a few pages of your research. I was very impressed. Really? <laughs> You're very kind. But these are the leads we had to abandon. Due to the pressure from Dr. Asili, if I've understood correctly. Indeed. According to him, focusing on the reasons behind the contamination was a waste of time. All that mattered was the cure. And yet you want to defend him. How many promising leads did you give up to please him? Why continue to serve him when you could finally gain your independence? Hmm... You are not wrong. Very well, you've convinced me. I will now testify for the prosecution. It is true that it's time to turn the page and leave his cruel methods behind. Thank you, Doctor. Dr. Honor is an influential scholar. His testimony would convince the judge.
Desade, I'd like to discuss something with you. I'm listening. My colleagues are only interested in the physiology of the islanders and consider everything else to be superstitions. However, if we want to understand how they are transforming, we need to take a look at their culture. The potions they drink, the dyes they use are surely the source of their physical changes. Why not talk about it with Siora? It seems to me that she would be the best one to help you. Siora is very suspicious of me. She will never betray the secrets of the Donegada. But I was told about a place of ritual called Kurganau, decorated with carvings and offerings. By studying them, I hope to better understand what is possibly the greatest mystery of this century. But they call it a dangerous place and I cannot go alone. Will you accompany me? Sorry, I'm already very busy at the moment. I understand. But think about it all the same. Anything else? I would like you to tell me about Asili. I was expecting you to come and see me about this. What would you like to know? Were you aware of Dr. Asili's experiments? In part, yes. That's why I chose not to be his student any longer. Why not say anything? Because I never thought he would go so far. Over time, he became more and more cruel. I found his approach brutal. As if by meeting the natives, it deprived him of all humanity. He spoke of them as test subjects, never as people. But there was a time when he was the greatest doctor and scientist in the Alliance. And I clung on to that memory. You do know that you were captured thanks to him? Yes. But I thought the natives wanted to trade us merely as prisoners of war. I was blind. And stupid. I regret it terribly. Do you think, as your master does, that science justifies all sacrifices? Well, I never imagined it would have led to such cruel treatment. But if we want to live in a better world, free from the Malakal, we will have to make sacrifices. In your opinion, were the horrors practiced in this laboratory necessary for his research? No, even if he was convinced of it. General interest outweighs the suffering of a few individuals. He wanted results quickly, to the point of neglecting slower, more humane methods. Well, like many of us, he was affected by the corpses we saw piling up because of the Malachor, and the urgency of finding a cure made him forego all morality. It's horrible, and I regret all the suffering he's caused, but I guess I can understand it. Would you be willing to testify against Dr. Asili during his trial? No, Desade. I'm sorry. You know that I disapprove of what he did, but I don't think I can take responsibility for his death if he's convicted. I understand. Anything else? I must leave you. Hey! You are the Onol Minawi who freed us. We managed to reach Vikshadir. They told me what you did for them, Renaikse. Well done. I was able to give them the care they needed. Some wounds will take time to heal, but they are safe thanks to you. I'm happy to see that they're better. But you didn't come here for that, did you? No. I came to ask for your help. 
The doctor who captured and tortured you is about to be tried for his crimes. He has a lot of support among his people. He is a respected man despite what he did. If we don't have testimony from some of his victims, he will surely be released. You'll have our words. We'll go to the Grand City and tell our story. And the Mad Lion will die for causing so much harm to our people. May the Earth engulf him. You can return to Hikmet. Or I'll make sure they get there in good health. Thank you, Tiena Hack. And thank you all. I blame myself for forcing these poor people back to the city where they've suffered so much. My people are strong and proud. They will not be afraid to speak in front of your judges for justice. I believe our investigation is coming to an end. Let's find the prosecutor. You have returned, Your Excellency. Do you have any news on our matter? A naught victim of Dr. Asili agreed to testify at the trial. Excellent. This kind of testimony will certainly rattle his defense. The Islanders will testify at the trial. Their injuries will surely convince the judges. Indeed. But do bear in mind that the Islanders are not highly regarded in Hikmet. I managed to convince the scientists in the Governor's laboratory to speak in our favor. Excellent. These are not direct witnesses, but if they denounce the Doctor, we are sure to be heard. I even got a testimony from one of Dr. Asili's colleagues. Perfect. That will convince our scientists, and you know how important they are in Hikmet. Afra unfortunately refuses to testify. She fears she could be responsible for the death of her former master. A shame, but it is her choice. We can only respect it. An alchemist studied the powder that we found in the laboratory. Apparently, it's some kind of concentrate made from the blood of several patients with the Malachor. It seems that less than a pinch of this powder is enough to contaminate whoever consumes it. There's enough here to make a small town sick. A terrifying thought. I will add the analysis and this powder to the evidence on record. You have gathered overwhelming evidence. The defense will have a hard time saving the accused. I think we can go to trial with confidence now. Will the trial begin soon? It seems to be the right time. Excellent investigation work. I think we have every chance of winning. Where will the trial be held? At the palace. I regret to inform you that you will not be able to attend. However, I'm sure the governor will keep you informed of the outcome of the proceedings. Madame, congratulations. The trial was exemplary. Asili's madness was exposed to the entire world. And you have demonstrated the horror of his methods. Thank you, Excellency. But all praise should be showered upon Lady Dasade. 
The evidence she supplied was irrefutable. It was necessary that you hear the victims, in order to understand the extremities to which your science has taken you. Come now. One cannot conclude that science was guilty here. Not science, but the savants were. It is never right to set aside humanity in the name of the common good. No knowledge justifies killing or torture. Your words are wise, and I promise to remember them. You have not always shown yourself a man of impeccable judgment, Excellency. We are all, from time to time, victim of our own blind enthusiasm, that is true. But this trial has shaken my usual resolve. It may very well change the course of history. Thank <laughs> you. 